Welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about earthing and grounding detox. Some people who use the outlet to plug in their grounding devices are complaining of various illnesses like stomach pains and muscle aches and cramps and headaches and just feeling ill in general. So I want to dive into that and talk about what it is and how to fix it. Let's get started. So for those who are new to earthing and grounding, please visit this video over here and watch my video where I go through 13 research papers that explains the benefits of earthing and grounding and also the scientific basis of why earthing and grounding heals. And if you're also interested, join the Facebook group where I'm an admin. We have now 45,000 people in that group and it's growing about 200 people a week. And so the link is right down here as well as in the video description. Now, those who are using the outlet to ground themselves, some people, not all, some people are complaining about various illnesses like stomach pains and aches and cramps and headaches and just feeling ill in general. So the general community of the earthing and community community have suggested that that could be detox or also known as herxing. Well, I really don't think it's detox. Being a doctor, I'm listening to people's complaints and it sounds like electricity toxicity or EMF toxicity because the reason why we're earthing and grounding in the first place is to counter the body voltage alternating currents that are occurring in our bodies due to the EMFs around us. So when we earth and ground ourselves, we actually eliminate or lessen those alternating currents in the body and we feel better because of doing so. But on the flip side, if our grounding devices aren't plugged into a properly grounded outlet and not all outlets are the same. So people are saying, well, I use a grounding checker and the lights turn on and say that the outlet are properly grounded. So when the outlet checker says that your outlets are good, it means that they are wired up to housing standards. However, in medicine, we have medical grade wire, medical grade saline, medical grade pharmaceuticals. So therefore, we don't have a medical grade outlet socket to ground. So not all homes out there are medical grade or medical ready to be appropriate for human grounding. So if there is any electricity flow to the mat and the mat is not properly grounded, people can get sick. They can feel the same thing as EMF exposure. And so most people just get used to it because the benefits of grounding outweighs the little bit of electricity that flows into the mat. However, some are feeling really sick, and I see that in the discussion forums, because they are plugging into an outlet that's probably not properly grounded. So I'm gonna show you today what I mean by that. I don't believe earthing and grounding detox and herxing are really real entities. Why? I believe that detoxing and herxing symptoms associated with the outlet grounding is due to electricity exposure, additional electricity that's not supposed to be there in the human body. So let's get started. I'm gonna to demonstrate to you exactly what I mean. So what I have here is a earthing sheet. Earthing no longer sells sheets because they don't stay conductive very long. And the earthing mattress cover and also mats last much longer than the sheets. These sheets have silver thread and that makes the entire sheet conductive. So this sheet is ungrounded. I'm not connected to any ground. And this sheet, even though it's ungrounded, is actually showing a sine wave that's about one volt. And this is at 60 Hertz. This is indicative of alternating current electricity that's actually being generated by this sheet. And measuring with a voltmeter, we can actually measure how many volts the sheet is actually putting out. This sheet is generating over 1.2 volts alternating current at about 60 Hertz. And this is a tri-field meter that can actually measure electric and magnetic and RF fields. On the table here, you can see that the electric field is only at six volts per meter or so. The sheet is also generating electricity to the point where this tri-field is also detecting it as 35 volts per meter. Why is this happening? This is called capacitative coupling. There's one capacitor here, which is the sheet that is conductive, and the other capacitors are the wiring in my house. The wiring in my house is also a source of EMF, 
extremely low frequency 60 hertz EMF. When that capacitor in my wall or the wiring in my wall generates that EMF, it actually exerts electricity onto other conductive surfaces. So without connecting anything to this probe, you can see that the voltmeter is still measuring about 750 millivolts of alternating current. And that's current being generated just from this wire alone. Our bodies are also a capacitor. We have the ability to generate electricity in our body. We have the ability to conduct electricity. It is actually a capacitor that actually in a electromagnetic field will actually generate alternating current. Now the thing with extremely low frequency EMF that is at 50 to 60 Hertz, which is typically electrical power, those types of currents at those types of frequency, 50 to 60 Hertz is penetrating. It actually can go into deep tissue, into your body and generate currents within your body. And I have another video here where I talk about the problems with that, but mainly there are evidence such as Dr. Paul in 2013 wrote a review paper showing that extremely low frequency EMF opens voltage gated calcium channels throughout the body, both for benefit, but also for harm. So therefore the opening of ion gated channels causes problems in our bodies because if it causes random opening of channels, it can actually lead to ailments. And so I talked about the detox reactions. I don't think when people are plugging into the ground outlet, they are actually detoxing. I think what they're doing is feeling the effects of EMF in the actual outlets that are poorly wired. Now, it's interesting is that we have a master electrician, a former master e electrician in our Facebook group. His name is Roy. Cook, and I've been talking to him. He's inspected over 4,000 homes in his lifetime. And he says up to 50% of those homes are not wired correctly. So therefore, if your home or your outlet that you're plugging into is not wired to human standard for human grounding, which is no such thing, but in medicine, we have standards, right? We have medical grade water, we have medical grade pharmaceuticals, but we also need medical grade grounding. That basically this type of stray electricity can actually be harmful. So for example, if your grounding sheet or mat is not properly grounded, it's actually going to induce more electricity onto your body. So my body voltage ungrounded is about 4.7 volts, 60 Hertz alternating current. When I put my hand on an ungrounded mat like this, it jumps up to 5.3 volts. So therefore an improperly grounded or an ungrounded mat, or sheet or product will actually raise alternating current in your body. Alternating currents are not normal currents. Your body doesn't want it there. And that is probably why people are having problems with symptoms such as headaches, fatigue, muscle ache, abdominal cramps, insomnia, and heart palpitations. What I'm gonna show you now is that if you properly ground an earthing mat or sheet, it will actually dissipate the electricity that's being generated through this capacitive coupling. So this cord is grounded to the outlet over here. And you can see as I put that on, the sine wave here disappears. The voltage on this, this sheet now goes down to about 47 millivolts. So let's see what happens to my body voltage when I actually touch a grounded sheet. My body voltage is over four volts alternating current. I touched the grounded sheet, so I'm down to about 500 millivolts. Now, if I lay here and I get my hands all sweaty and moist, you can see that my conductance in my skin actually decreases because skin conductance is anywhere from like 1,000 ohms for something that's moist and sweaty to 100,000 ohms, which is something that is dry. And my skin is fairly dry right now because of this, the winter. But if you notice that as I'm sitting here, the voltage continues to decrease as heat and moisture is building up between the skin and the sheet itself. And these sheets lose their conductivity over time. These, this sheet's like several years old. So look what happens when I touch this directly. I get better grounding. So when I touch the metal lead, it goes down to about 200 millivolts. So this sheet has actually lost some conductivity and I wouldn't recommend using it for grounding for the very reasons that I talked about. So therefore, if you're using an earthing product or a grounding product that causes you to have symptoms and you don't get used to them, meaning that you have those problems and in a few days they don't go away, stop using your product. Take your mat, take your sheet off your bed because that's also generating 
the electrical current through this capacitive coupling, use a grounding rod and put it into the earth and run the wire into your house and don't ground from the outlet, but ground from the rod. That is the best solution if you happen to be one of those houses that have an improperly grounded outlet. People have also been asking me about how to shield against Wi-Fi and 5G and, and those higher frequency. Well, 5G runs at five gigahertz at very high frequency EMF. These things are pretty low powered. So your phones are low powered, your smart watches are low powered, and also because of the high frequency, they are not very powerful. So they don't penetrate the tissues very far. At most, they may penetrate one to two millimeters at the most. And so your skin actually blocks a lot of the 5G and the Wi-Fi that surrounds you. However, if you're sensitive to Wi-Fi, and some people are because we're human beings and everyone is a little bit different, you can get something called a Faraday fabric. And it's fairly cheap. I got this off of Amazon. And it's basically a fabric that contains metals, copper and nickel that can actually shield basically 5G and Wi-Fi. So I've wrapped this sheet in this Faraday fabric that's supposed to block like 5G and EMF, but I'm gonna show you that it's not good enough to block the extremely low frequency EMF, the 50 to 60 Hertz. So when I have this sheet wrapped and I measure the voltage here, the voltage actually goes up. See how my sheet went up to four, 4.3? That's because the fabric, the Faraday fabric is also conductive. Faraday fabrics as well as you know other types of metal sheets are not good to block extremely low frequency EMF. It's penetrating it, it'll go through it. And same with your body, it will go deep into your body and causes these alternating currents. And trust me, you don't want these alternating currents in your body. If you connect this oscilloscope to this Faraday fabric, you can see that it's generating a beautiful sine wave at about 60 Hertz. Okay, this is my 5G phone and I'm just gonna run a YouTube channel so that way the screen doesn't lock and turn off. Okay, to measure the radio frequency output of this cell phone, I'm going to actually use this meter here on the RF setting. So it's generating anywhere from a few hundred to almost a thousand millivolts of, of energy uh, per meter. And so let's see what happens when we put it in the Faraday fabric. All right, you can see that it goes down to basically almost zero. So Faraday fabric is actually good to block like 5G. So if you wanna get this fabric, you can actually make purses or line your purses, basically create a barrier so that you can actually block 5G and Wi-Fi if you desire. But like I said, 5G, because of high frequencies, only penetrates the skin maybe one to two millimeters. Here are the take home messages today. First, a improperly grounded or not grounded earthing mat or sheet or device will actually induce electricity onto the human body and actually potentially making that person more ill. Two, you have to make sure your outlets are properly grounded beyond just the outlet checker. What I suggest is to get a grounding stake and comparing the body voltage drop that you achieve with the outside stake versus your outlet. If both are equivalent, then you can probably make the assumption that the outlets are properly grounded for human grounding. Three, the grounding main of an apartment complex or a house, those things are shared by all the appliances throughout the house. So therefore, if you have appliances or in the apartment building that you're living in have appliances that are leaking electricity or shorting basically electricity into the ground, that electricity could actually travel to your mat. The manufacturers of these earthing devices put a 100 ohm resistor into the mat for that reason and for safety reasons so that people don't get shocked or get too much electricity. However, if there's constant electrical shorts going into the mat itself, it's probably gonna make the person sick and not feel very good. So therefore, four, if you continue to feel ill using a outlet ground for your grounding device, stop immediately. Take the grounding sheet, get the grounding mat off your bed, and don't use it until you order the stake and the cable to connect your grounding devices to the earth outside. If you have found that this video is helpful, please like, share, and comment. Also, remember to subscribe so that you get my future videos. Until next time, have a great day.